Bright new days brings about winds of change. As unpredictable as it may be, you should not be afraid to face it. You will never change your life until you change something you do daily. The secret of your success is found in your daily routine. This academic term. As you all know, we lay so much emphasis on discipline, excellence, and hard work. We will not tolerate any form of indiscipline or poor conduct. Have I made myself clear? You have to appear on time, meet, and make sure your classroom are conveniently or pedagogically convenient for classes. Have I made myself clear? Yes, sir. And for you, the standard seven people. In a few weeks, you will be writing the common entrance and first school living certificate examination. Oh, what, what are you doing behind there? Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Stop playing behind there. As Elia said, for you. Oh, come here. <laughs> Tell me a <your> picnic. <laughs> knee down there. I said, knee down there quick. <laughs> to you, the standard seven people, in a few weeks, you will writing the common entrance and first school living certificate examination. I urge you all to work extremely hard. Make sure you attend all your classes so that to ensure that we obtain a goal of 100% this year. Have I made myself clear? Yes, sir. Are we together? Yes, sir. Uh, energy. You can now go to your first class. Good day. Go down, go down, go down to Egypt and get it out. Tell them I hit the door. Okay, today we're talking about care of the body. And I would like to say personal hygiene is very important. You are supposed to take a bath at least twice a day, in the morning and in the evening. It will refresh your body and protect your body against bacterial infections, okay? Yes, madam. Yes, thank you. But madam, when places are cold, don't you think it is advisable for us not to bath so the bacteria in our body will catch a cold and die? <laughs> No titles, it is instead the opposite. When places are cold, you're supposed to take a bath with cold water so as to refresh your body cells and make your body fresh. This is a correct example of what I'm talking about, personal hygiene. Moki, why are you looking this tatak in the morning? Well, I, I was punished with the hair muscles to sweep, so those just enter my body. Were you sleeping with your body? Were you sleeping with your body? No, madam.
My name is Marco. My name is Kari. How is it? I see you are the new girl. Yes, I am. You have been looking at that boy since. See, that boy is sick. Do you like him? Do you want to eat that thing? Thank you. See, eh? don't be afraid of us. We don't want to be afraid of God. Like, you are a beautiful girl. <laughs> Thank you. What did you say is wrong with that boy? He's always alone. And all the people swear him. He is a witch.
Tomato for 200, fish for 400. Okay. Marco, give me pepper. I'm high now, waiting. Happy, the high now, waiting. Marco, this is your mother. Yes, this is Marco, now you're Marandi. Hi, 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 Marandi. H
Hey you! What? What are the two of you doing here? Do you know this beggar? Yes. Have I told you that you know why you play around this thing? Go, go faster! Yes. I'm back to you. What did really happen to Vincent? Please, uh, say it's this boy. This boy, he provoked him to fall. What? Shut up! It's you! So will you shut up your mouth? Look, let it be the last time. I mean the very last time this thing is happening in this school. Have I made myself clear? Yes, sir. Have I made myself clear? Yes, sir. Now, move to your first classes. Move, move faster! Oh, I have you! Go to your first classes! Jesus, ma, ma, you feel like joy. You never give me five twenty five. Mama, me to say you that money buy house. Now I like you buy five house. I buy five house for five twenty five. Yeah, you make me not lie. You make me lie. You make me want friend again. I lie. No, no, no. Make new friends. Mm. I'm trying to. Trying? Mm. You need to try harder. Auntie? Yeah? When somebody falls on the ground and something like foam comes out from his mouth, what does that mean? Um, it could be seizures or epilepsy. But why such a question? Nothing. Just ask me. Okay. Ooh. I need freshen up. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Uh -huh. 
I don't need your pity or that of anyone. Please leave my house. Yes, I said leave my house and never come back. I'm sorry for everything. I just came here to apologize and check if you're okay. I'm pretty sure you should come back to school. But anyway, I will go. And I'm sorry. <laughs> On your marks. I want to go to you. Set. Go. Go. some time I'll explain everything to you. Okay, go ahead. Honestly, growing up as a child has not been easy for me. I lost my dad the first day this illness started. He was a high blood patient and was in shock as he watched me. I have no friends, no one cares about me apart from my mom. And I've been in this school for nine years now 
in the private world nature has created for me. I'm sorry about that, but what is really wrong with you? I really don't know. Have you gone to the hospital? No, everyone already knows it's witchcraft. <laughs> Everyone knows it's witchcraft. What if the hospital might have a, a cure or a solution for it? I don't know. It has never crossed my mother's mind to do that. I still suggest you go to the hospital. What if they confirm it's witchcraft? You see, don't let that crowd your judgment. I will go with you if you want. No, it's okay. Okay, if you say so, I'm going to the stream. You follow me. You have come to the end of the academic term. I want to advise most, especially the standard seven people. The first school living certificate is the first certificate you get in your life that proves that you have successfully completed your primary education. So, for those of you who are joking, you better rethink 
because your life might totally depend on it. As you are going on holidays, I urge you all to be of good conduct in your various homes. Yes. Because I know some of you, as you leave this school campus, you start growing wings. <laughs> but I bet you, you know me. I can pluck off even iron wings. So you better don't grow one. Have I made myself clear? Mommy, good afternoon. Mm -hmm. You don't come back. Hi, pass. <laughs> they don't keep good for them. I mean, visit me come on for your belly. <laughs> Support you so that you could pass that examination. <laughs> you go pass that first school. Who pass? No mind. Dimbe. Dim my door, bro. I don't get sense. So me go let work. Shut up. Come on, you up there. Nyam fuka. Them talk to them. Someone to open more. Begin talk up, talk up, talk up. You. Come on. Thank you so much, Jara, for everything. It's not convincing. What a friends for. It has taken me a lifetime to believe that care and consent does exist. I'm here. Anyway, I still suggest we go to the hospital tomorrow and ask patients to know more about what you're going through. I think there might be a better way to treat you. I've taken all kinds of drugs, but nothing happened, so I think it cannot be cured in the hospital. You see, that might be the problem. What if there is a cure or a control measure for it? I suggest we try the hospital too. Well, if you see, so then we need to try. Okay. Okay, you come down. Long item, banana, the fungus, open for the Good afternoon, doctor. Good afternoon. I was told you wanted to see me. Yes, doctor. My name is Vera. This is my friend, Vincent. So, Vera and Vincent, what can I do for you? Doctor, my friend has a problem. What kind of a problem? Um, when he falls on the ground, he starts shaking. And something like foam comes out from his mouth. Vincent, where are your parents? They are at home, doctor. I would like to see them so as to further discuss on this, okay? But doctor, what exactly is this problem? Vera, you see, I cannot talk anything further on this until I must have a word with the parents, okay? So you go home, tell your parents I want to see them. Okay, doctor. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. So, if you must excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. What for? Ah ah, maku exam. Maku pass number twelve. Now I see you the pass. I say I can give you this small thing, but you say thank you for the good work you don't do. And you don't say maku na ma only picking. It's not necessary, ma. I'm just doing my job. Ah ah, madam. Come on up my heart. Take her. 
Right, yes, this. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Hi, Hi madam. Gee. Mommy, I am happy you are here. Thank you, doctor. I mean, what actually is the problem with this child? Doctor, since for small picking with some balogs, you can't take my picking. Take it so, not come for that. Sometimes then so. Now let's so you go begin to make only oh, so. Sometimes self, and so that speed we go begin to come for him more. Sometimes go make so we we'll go and sit on back. You ask I'm sitting here before you no go here again. He don't pass me. He don't pass me because even for quarter he don't begin for call he say be rich man. <sighs> Mommy, you see. From all what you've explained, it sounds more like uh, epilepsy. Mommy, has your son been taking drugs before? Yes. I begin to give some medicine when I uh, English medicine. When somebody come up from market, he passed, begin give me for his quarter. Now, see, I don't look the thing again and look up. It is also for medicine, maybe help. So I stop her. Now so, now so, my country, what the game? Mommy, what you did was very wrong. When it happens like that, you're supposed to bring him to the hospital. I know be sabi. I know be no. Anyway, Mommy, there are various types of epilepsy, if that be the case with your son. We have the juvenile myoclonic epilepsy that occur during childhood. And we also have the Lennox gastroc and many others. Mommy, you see, this illness has many causes. You have the abnormal level of sodium and sugar in the body. And infections such as meningitis and encephalitis. You have the, the brain, the brain tumor, brain injury, injuries such as accident during childhood or as he grows up. You know, when the child falls and hit the head on the ground, that can cause this kind of ailment. Doctor, all the baby grammars of me are no year I don't understand. I mean, don't worry. When we get to the lab i will get a nurse that will explain to you in simple terms that you will understand okay thank you um do you take alcohol vincent you see why i am asking you this is because heavy alcohol intake and not properly taking your medication and also not sleeping well can cause seizures. Doctor, I don't drink alcohol at all. Okay. It's okay. I mean, we will, we will further go in for to take to do a lab test to come further confirm if actually what I, I see to be epilepsy, if, if actually it's what is wrong with yours, your son. But don't worry, whatever it is. You'll be treated. Yes. I do hear, doctor. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome, man. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see. Please just follow me to the lab so that we can get these samples and run the test. Okay. <laughs> you are all welcome to this final decision making term. With clarity, I want to sound this warning. We will not tolerate any poor habit, abusive language, or late coming. 
Last term might have been too loose for you, but I bet you this term will be more harder to all the standard seven peoples. This is the period you have to take your destiny into your own hands. Yes, you have to take your studies very seriously. No playing around again in this school. Yes. You have, teachers have put in their best. So, if you have any challenges, please don't hesitate to contact any of your teachers. I will encourage you to practice the whole hand movement. Yes, because with the whole hand movement, you encourage your colleague where he or she is weak. In that light, we are sure of making a hundred percent, or scoring a hundred percent this academic term, which is our goal. The holidays are all over. Which means I expect total cleanliness and order in your respective classes. I'll be passing around to supervise the revision classes as well as give you details on the exam that is your examination code and center number. Have I made myself clear? Any question? Okay. You can now go to your various classes. You're welcome, madam. Thank you, doctor. Vincent, how are you? I'm fine, doctor. I mean, the result of your son's test shows that he has uh, epilepsy, as speculated. But I will I'll prescribe you some medications that he will be taking. But it is very important for me to let you know that during the time he will be taking these medications, he will have some effects. What I mean is, he will suffer from depression, irritability, hyperactivity. <laughs> Mommy, wait why they try for talk now, sir. Mm -hmm. As this speaking, would they take this medicine? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some small, small ratchets then. Mm -hmm. uh, then would they come out for your skin? Make no worry, no fear. Mm -hmm. You go finish, you hear? Okay, doctor. Uh, mm -hmm. Only they give you the medicine as a, as I will write down, mm -hmm. you hear? If you if you fall again, bring you for hospital. Bring you my check up again, you hear? Yes, doctor. Yes. I don't need no job. <laughs> but I could try. <laughs> no worry, mommy. You know go, you know go jam, you yeah? Yes, doctor. Thank you. Just take this book. Go for pharmacy now. For pharmacy, we will give you that medicine for them. Okay, doctor. Yes, mommy. Now may coffee bless you, doctor. I bless you too, mommy. Thank you. When you give you the medicine, make it chop fine, fine. You hear? Yes, doctor. Boy, Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. Hey, Perry, how far? I'm ready to play love, eh? See, Perry, you just see fine, you will catch you. What do you pour on? Eh? Is she don't even know English? Eh? You can tell me nothing. <laughs> you know? It seems like I'm telling you something. Wait, you phone will See me, this try so. That can't be key. You don't bat today, ya? No, this. I'm gonna shoot my stuff. Hear me? Hear me? Hey, I'm gonna shoot my stuff. I'm gonna shoot my stuff. I'm gonna shoot I see what you funny. Okay, 
let's go for this balok chai start making that steam let's go they get small like say i don't have a good mood i have a ground on the pepper they are passing they're not fired yet they wait to happen they're not fired yet they are always talking about what's going to happen today that chai is this strange type of wish you can kill a country for the night see have you ever heard that kind of guy have met somebody chai in the school and not be it and it's not left to mark Hmm. Good afternoon, parents. Good afternoon, sir. I want to sincerely thank you for sacrificing your precious time to attend this very important PTA meeting meant especially for the Standard 7 peoples. The reason is simple. In a few weeks' time, your children will be writing the first school living certificate examination, which will either guarantee they are going to college or to repeat. I want to sound it here that no repeater will be admitted in this school again. We are tired of not meeting up with an objective of 100% because of some few stubborn children. As you can see, not all the parents are here. What do you expect of their children? So we will not tolerate any uh, recalcitrant again in this school. Um, on that note, I want to challenge you parents to give enough time to your children for their studies. Yes, because some of you parents, you keep your children back home to run your house chores. Please. Give them enough time for their studies and to do some follow-up. Yeah, so that we synchronize the efforts of the teachers and that of uh, yours back home. We'll be doing some revision classes in the coming weeks in order to ensure that they meet up with the goals and objectives of a hundred percent of our, as I earlier said. So, we we'll count on your collaboration. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Fine woman. I like your hair. Oh, thank you. Um, you have to this school. Uh, yes, any problem? No, no problem. I begin to do this school. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, anyway. I want to stay, you see, I deserve fresh tomato and dry fish. In fact, all spice for cook soup, I just sell them. And I think I can supply them for your house if you want. Okay, if I need them, I'll contact you. Um, uh, uh, I think know your door so that in case I want supply, I think come. Or you give me your number. Mm. Okay, I, I live just uh, nearby. Okay. But you can have my contact. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bye, woman. Bye bye.
What are you body for his skin? What has the money time? We don't already think he goes to hospital. Asha, it's okay, okay. You'll be fine. I said, man, I can't tell you. We don't already think he goes to hospital. Man, we can come in back to hospital. Please, madam, what was wrong? What happened to Vincent? Vincent was involved in an accident. Hey, hey, hey. He has been rushed to the hospital, so after the hospital, I'm sitting. Vincent, sorry. Not to worry, okay? You'll be fine. Thank God you're alive. Thank you, please, madam. Can we go? Yes, please, madam. Bye bye. Vincent, don't worry, you'll be fine, okay? Come and check on you tomorrow. Thank you so much for everything. I'm a minion, now all these. Yeah, I'm going to go up for you. Very small now. Marita, sir. Hey, Vera. Good afternoon for you. Bye, Vera. You know her? Yes, it's Marco's mom. Yes. Wow. This boy is really a small place. <laughs> okay, go and change. I'll come and save your food, okay? Okay. Vera, how for school? Mommy's school day fine. Only there, what there? Oh, oh, begin, Asia. <laughs> Thank you, ma. Fine, yeah. Ah. Mm. Mommy, you don't hear? But begin come up for school the other day, the day me see. So begin did that school, the so so far. And I see now, which I don't want you. Make you do try for pass for corona, because I don't want me to die. And then only begin to let me get that. Mommy, younger. Why will you say that? It could be cerebral malaria. Now lie, now wish. So how much? How much are you giving me all this? You want all for now two fifty. Last price. Now two fifty, mommy. I prepared the one only for you. Ah, uh, mommy, young. But it's expensive now. Huh? No, you say thin and they still come again. And times don't hurt. Thin and you strong. The one on your back. Mommy, uh, young. Okay, fine. Let me go inside and get your money. Okay. <laughs> Mommy, how the situation is going to now? Is it better? I only say, I'm not going to write that exam. Talk to talk to me, talk to talk to me, talk to me. Mommy, why don't you respond to treatment now? Yes, as I say. Let me see, I still know the response to treatment, so if I can't teach it to you, I'm allowed to teach you in class. People will feel struggle that they write pass. <laughs> Is that you? 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 Is that you?
Remember, remember what hey. the past says. I'm gonna say that anytime that you see it's high time, you know that the next, next thing is supposed to be a past tense. That's why end with E. No, I ask my dad. No, yeah, we got that. We got that. No, you know, I'm just more than us. We got that. We got that. Ask my dad. Eh eh. So that which brother finally come out school soon. Eh. Yes, no. Do you do it? Same person is sitting there. I'm not sitting on common school. I go hospital. See, now put them bandage. Bandage to the side of my mind. I don't know you are a I got it on bandage, bandage it there, don't die. I tell you, it's on diamond. I know chemia. I told you sorry that I am a very nasty. I swear, I swear, it could do na high. But na phone here, no Marco and Vera and Karina if friend and two. Shut up, baby. No sister, you are busy with tight like I am girl. Let me tight, let me tight, let me tight, tight. This is a yummy. Shut up, I'm yummy, but my yummy is here. Never let that princess. Never that come back from this school. Can't write the first school. But that pass and come back from this school. I'm not going to see. I swear. Even though he get wish, no. At least he's supposed to write exam. I tell you. I be more too important thing for Congo. Thank you. Yes, I'm saying it. Enjoy. But that important thing. Stop moving. See me, you. No, no, that I'm not going to say me. Which one? I'm not going to say me. Okay, I start doing F nine nine two. I don't know how to do this. Hey, come on, 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 we have come to the end of the academic term. We've prepared you well to the best of our abilities. We've sacrificed extra hours in evening and even in Saturday classes. This is all to ensure that we prepare you best for the task ahead. The exam will be made up of English language, mathematics, and general paper one and two. General paper one will be made up of geography, history, and citizenship. While general paper two we will make up of environmental science, that's what we call environmental education, hygiene, and home economy. And home economy. Home economy. I'll urge you that you should go back home, you prepare your writing materials. Wash your uniforms clean and be on time on that writing day. Have I made myself clear? Yes, sir. Might be this our last time seeing because uh, I will not be with you. I'll be in another center. But all the way, I wish you the best. Make us proud.
It is estimated that about 50 people will have epilepsy at some point in their life. And about 87 people are diagnosed with epilepsy every day. Reluctance to talk about epilepsy leads to lives lived in the shadows. Discrimination in workplaces and communities and lack of funding for new therapy research. For many people with epilepsy, the misconception and discrimination can be more difficult to overcome than the seizures themselves. You have a role to play. As for me, I have chosen not to discriminate or stigmatize, but rather support and love my friend Vincent and everyone out there living with epilepsy. And you, wherever you are out there with epilepsy, you are special and of great value to the society. Nazi, please, can you introduce yourself for us? Um, I'm uh, Brother Matthias Moim, a native of Pinyin, Bamenda. Left Pinyin in 1985. As a businessman by profession, he decided to change the environment to live in and establish in Fumbot. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what do you know about epilepsy? Epilepsy is a certain disease that is carried on by uh, some situation like witchcraft because uh, everything that God made is right. I understand that epilepsy is something caused by the work of darkness as the agents of the devil. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now uh, we understand that you had a child who was um, epileptic. Mm -hmm. who epilepsy. Yeah. Can you just narrate us a story and tell us how the experience was? Uh, I had a child who was living very happily in the home and uh, the mother of the child that this child fortunately had that epilepsy. The mother of the child troubles one day and carried those children and ran away. So reaching their home, he engaged a lot of problems there. So I think one agent of darkness in that compound then uh, initiated that child with that problem, uh, with that fainting sickness, with that epilepsy. So before the children left here, there was nothing wrong. So it was after by a certain time that they were narrating me a story that a child had something like epilepsy. 
So I went home and brought the child. So as I brought the child, the child came with me in my house. The child was under high conditions. They were conditioning him not to eat this, not to do this, not to eat this, and so on and so forth. So I really understand that the child was under some, at least, demonic principles. So I, as a servant of God, I took that child to a Mbingo Baptist Hospital in Babsam, a consulted day. Then by then the doctor gave me some drugs that the child was to be taken one morning and one evening. And by then the child was free from that attack. So the child was eating normal food as usual, doing his activities, glary, and so on and so forth. So, uh, and by then we were carrying prayers because we knew that in every situation, what you take like, when you are sick, what you take like tablets or whatever thing or something of that nature, it is God that provides the healing. So as we were in prayers, was a time God told me that he has take over the, 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 the epilepsy. I stopped with those medicines. The child was no more taking them. He was no more falling again. After a time, the mother came here and collected the child with violin, took the child home. And the child, the sick, by then doubled the speed. Where it was, the situation, the, 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 the matter now aggravated the situation. As the sick was attacking that child just within the night, it was by then attacking day and night. The child had a lot of anger. It's a small problem like this. The child will rise and anger. He can even decide to fight, fight the whole quarter. So by then, as we were both going to the church, the child was still fellowshipping together in the church at home, but why with such a problem? So uh, in a certain crusade, the child went there and the thing attacked him in the crusade ground. So the boy fell in the crusade and just departed and just died. Okay, what is the advice you have for someone who has epilepsy? The person who has epilepsy, I would like to advise him that uh, much of the time he should at least put the, all the trust in God because there is never any situation that is above God and there's never anything that the devil can build in somebody's life or stop somebody's life that God cannot put to an end. Yeah, so when you have such a thing, at least no matter how trouble you are, no matter how Disturb, no matter how the, the matter is disturbing you, still have the full trust in God. Because God has a final answer to any situation that one can encounter in life. You, you mentioned here that um, not everybody who was around you, who was around the child, could tolerate the child. Mm -hmm. So, what advice would you give to the community, let's say, from what community, mm -hmm. if they have cases of epilepsy, from what, mm -hmm. what advice would you give to from what, as a community to be able to live? So the advice I will give to people in the community, especially in Fumbot here, is that uh, when you have such a person in your family, then, then always at least consult spiritual leaders, because most of the way you can do or to come out of the situation or to succeed with the situation is when, when you engage with the spiritual leaders. They will give you more counseling, more advice, and how you can pray, and how you can be capable to be patient with such with a, with such a person, the family, because it is being generated from the devil. And you know, the devil is a person whom he comes to create misunderstanding, to destroy, to steal, and to kill. So, such a person, if you are not careful with him, to contact spiritual leaders, they should, should give you more counseling, and tell you how you can carry the matter before God if you are living only with the flesh or working according to the human nature. I don't be sure that you'll be able to cope with such a situation. According to you, mm -hmm. is there any cause and solution to the sickness epilepsy other than the spiritual procedures? Uh, if somebody has, uh, whether with none as man may God, or people will know as herbarize. If a person come and tell that he can cure it, he's just deceiving you. Or even if, if he cures it, you are going to pay heavily because he cannot enter your home to arrange anything 
without season, without at least bit, without extracting a lot of uh, uh, property from you. So if somebody I tell you that he can cure such a person, he can make this a, 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 a place to finish, but he can extract the brain of that child, can take all the stars of the child. The child can be a normal, but he cannot do something. Uh, fed, uh, they cannot do any, anything successfully in life. So the uh, whatever situation that I can advise people in the community is that when you have a certain situation which is above you, only contact with God. For that the only situation. Or you contact a medical. You can give you some drugs because medical work together with God. You can give you some drugs, you be taking them while moving gradually with God. It is only God who will put to an end. You can take tablets, but it is God that cures. So somebody at the site telling you that he's a, a traditional doctor whosoever and so on, it's, they are just deceiving people. Yeah. So the advice I can give to people, when you have such a situation, count much on God. You can go to the hospital, but count much on God. When I said that some people around me were unable to at least we stand the type of trials the child was doing because they were less uh, with the program of God. So when you have such a person, and you are God's fearing, at least God must be guiding you, inspiring you how you can keep with such a person, then at least reveal you that when such a thing happens, this is how you are going, you are going to solve such a situation. But when you are not the when if you are not a person who is normally planted in the vineyard of the Lord. It will not be easy for you to cook because many situations are, before you saw I in many situations with such a person, it needs God's intervention and revelation from God how you can do.